This video will cover the topic, finding slope given two points on the line. Before we start trying to find the slope of a line given two points, let's first review what the slope of a line is. The slope of a line is a measure of its steepness, or how rapidly the y value of the line increases or decreases with the x value of a line. Let's take, for example, a line with a slope of 3. We can tell that this line has a slope of 3 because with an increase of 1 on the x-axis, the y value increases by 3. This is so for all points on the line. How would we find the numerical value of the slope of a line when given two coordinate points? To find the slope of a line given two points, we must find the vertical and horizontal change that occurs between these two points, and use that to find a ratio that expresses a numerical value for the slope. Let's try out an example. Here, we have a problem asking us to find the slope of a line that passes through the points negative 3, 3, and 5, 9. A formula that is important to remember when dealing with problems of this sort is slope is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. This formula can also be understood as being the change in the y value over the change in the x value. Since the line experiences a change from the coordinate negative 3, 3 to 5, 9, it must then have individual changes in the x and the y direction. How do we know which coordinate we should use as the starting point when finding the slope? Actually, the slope can be calculated by using either coordinate as a starting point. For the first evaluation, let's assume that negative 3, 3 is the starting point. Knowing this, we can set x1 equal to negative 3 and y1 equal to 3. We must now use the second coordinate to establish the values for x2 and y2. Now that we have all the values needed to use the slope formula, we can substitute our respective values into it. Solving this out, we will find that the slope is equal to 6 over 8. We can now simplify the slope to be equal to 3 fourths, right? That's exactly right. Now, just to prove that we can use either point as a starting point when calculating the slope, I will switch the values for y2 and y1 and the values for x2 and x1. As we can see, we arrived at the same value that we found by using a different starting point. Okay, I think I understand this now. But to be sure, let me go over what I have learned. The slope of a line is a measure of the steepness, or how much the y value changes with respect to the x value. To calculate the slope of a line, given two coordinate points on the line, it is important to remember the slope formula as being y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. It does not matter which coordinate point you use as your starting point because the same numerical value for the slope will be reached using either point. That all sounded right. You understand this topic so well, you should be the teacher. <laughs>